beautiful scenery. Look like Great Wall of China. Oh! What's up guys? Chillin'. About to take a ride on the supermoto. That's right, the supermoto. Dum 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 dum. I'll take a ride on the CRF. Stock. Make sure it is. Choke is off. All right, it was off. Oh yeah, it's been a while since I rode this thing. Let's well, go for it. Pretty chilly today, it's weird. It says 50 degrees. So a brake check. Alright. I haven't rode the dual sport in a minute. But it is a nice feeling, I must say. It's nice having both best of both worlds. Super motor and a street bike. Feels so weird riding from the street bike in proportion to the super moto. Now the street bike you are here. The super moto you're like right there. You're like upright. Feels nice though to sit upright sometimes. Riding this thing, you feel like you could toss it around and shit. Really nice. Let's talk more about the bike. This is as my some people might notice, some people might not. Who knows? I don't know. This is a Honda CR. I'm guessing. I'm not 100 percent sure, so don't call me on this. This is a replica. This is the Chinese replica of that Honda. Reading by the specs, this bike has 11 horsepower. It rides good. The previous owner was a, a motor virus was the previous owner on his bike. It's a Chinese bike, it has a thousand nine hundred miles on it. That's it. It's a 2013. It really is a TMEC Chinese motorcycle. It runs pretty good. I can't complain. Uh, this bike brand new costs a thousand, like a thousand eight hundred for a 2013 bike. It only costs thousand eight hundred Chinese bike. It's nice looking and all too. Good bang for the buck. I have gotten this thing up to 70 miles per hour on the highway. I use the GPS on my phone. It does reach 70. Some people say they don't, but I confirmed it. It might have went a little bit faster because I use that same GPS system in my car. And while I'm doing 55 on the GPS, I'm actually doing 60 on the in my car speedometer, you know? So the GPS is actually clocking it slower than what you're actually going. So if this just said 68 miles per hour on the GPS, which it recorded it, the top speed that I went on this supermoto, that means I must have hit at least 75. And yes, that's of course going downhill. 
I hit about 60 even going straight. It's pretty good. This is a 200cc. This frame is based on a 125cc bike with a 200cc engine. Like I said before, the bike is completely stock. It has no exhaust. It's pretty quiet. It's fun as hell, man. Can't complain. This is my father's supermoto. It's not mine, but he told me I could ride anytime I want. Right now, I got his gear on, elbow pads and all. They look pretty cool. It's like it's comfortable as hell. The previous owner of this bike, which was Motovirus, we live in Pennsylvania. He took this thing brand new when he first bought it. it wasn't even broken in yet, anything. He drove this bitch all the way to motherfucking Atlantic City. From Pennsylvania. That's a pretty good amount of miles, man. I don't, I'm not a professional uh, expert in miles, but I'm guessing that's close to 100 something miles. And since this is a Chinese bike and all, I am heading to the famous Pagoda. If you're from Reading, you know what the Pagoda is. Well, that's where we're heading. It's fitting for this bike, perfect fitting for it. It's a Chinese bike, maybe with a Chinese theme up in the hills. It's so weird. It's supposed to be like close to 50 degrees. And it feels like fucking 20 degrees. It's fucking cold. It's not moist at all. All right, we're going this way. To the Bagoda. To the Bagoda we go, go. To the Bagoda we go, go. By any means, this bike is not the fastest thing on the road, man. It accelerates like a fucking turtle. You know what I mean? Accelerates like a fucking constipated turd. <laughs> it goes zero to a turd in 20 minutes, you know what I mean? But once it's gone, it's gone. It's fucking fun. What makes it real fun, you can go anywhere with it. You could turn on a dime when on the street bike you have to do a K-turn. It's because you could do a circle, a 360 on this shit. It's not bad for a cheap, cheap, cheap bike, you know what I mean? A Chinese bike. I'm gonna tell you, man, people be like, how reliable are they? Let me just tell you, we forgot to check the oil on this because I'm pretty sure these things are um, shoot oil out. And we have rode, I rode this thing with no oil for miles and miles and miles without noticing because it is my dad's bike, I never checked it. I thought he was on top of things and he forgot to check it. And I rode a fucking, I put a few miles on it with no oil and it still ran, you know what I mean? Like, it never failed. Little the city down there. Let me show you a better picture of it. I'm going like 45, 50, right now, 45, 50. That's the firehouse. Let's go to the firehouse. That's the firehouse that everybody says is haunted. Whatever the hell, they got Smokey the Bear up there. It used to be Lover's Lane, believe it or not, but people <laughs> was doing it so much, they put cameras up here, surveillance. <laughs> used to get it in up here. Boy, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Stick it in, hard body. You stick it in. Look at that. Work of beauty. That girl's picking her boogers or something. Fixing her makeup or some shit. There it is, people. The fucking Bigoda. Perfect setting for the bike. Goes Bogota, city of Reading. Welcome. There it is, people. Stay vibrating here. Real Chinese Honda. <laughs> I just put the CRF stickers on it. You know, Honda stickers on there. Put this on the seat. It is a replica, after all. It fucks people's minds. You know, it's a mind fuck. People are like, oh shit, what kind of Honda is that? So CRF, bro. Here it is, the Pagoda. <clears throat> Beautiful setting for the bike. There it is as it sits. Mm. 
We got people chilling downstairs. We're up here in the Montes. Right now, I got, I'm on the supermoto. I'm nobody fucking with it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, there it is, the city of Reading. As you can see, it's beautiful. I will go down there some other day. But go to the perfect setting for the moto. Let's go to the other side of the world. China.